I grew up in the late 60s and early 70s, and I really became involved in that whole political, social, conscious sort of um, movement. Many of my associates and my friends were more a counterculture, and I started to lean more toward that lifestyle, and that kind of led me into a criminal lifestyle. I got into prison, I was convicted of uh, armed bank robbery and weapons charges, but I started planning for my reentry about a year after I was incarcerated. And my thought was, I've got to start planning for my new life now. Well, how am I going to do that? So I immersed myself in learning. I got out in September of 2009 and I had an associate's degree. Um, I wanted to go to school. I wanted to work in human services. I wanted to have a job that meant something. And because I had been away for 18 years, uh, when I left, my children were young. And when my dad got home, it was a really happy moment for all of us because it was one time where we didn't have to stand behind a bar. My family has um, supported me through every juncture of my reentry. It was extremely difficult for me to find a job. At the time, the mayor's office had a, um, a program called um, the Mayor's Office of Reentry, and I, they were associated with Google Industries. Jay was driven from the start. He uh, had a plan, and he was going to put that plan into action. And uh, he stated that from the initial interview. Finally, he told me that the um, first of the year, 2010, they were going to send me back to the prison if I didn't find a job. So on December 23rd, two days before Christmas, I was able to, to secure employment with Google Industries. We refurbished remotes, we uh, made sure that it worked, and then we um, cleaned them, repackaged them, and we boxed them. Jay came to work at Goodwill every day, bringing a suit and a tie on a hanger, just in case he was offered a job interview that day. He wanted to be prepared. I would say that Goodwill is the foundation of the life that I had have built for myself. I'm um, currently enrolled at Temple University and I'm in the Masters of Social Work program. I work for um, Pathways to Housing and my job title is Service Coordinator. We find housing for the homeless and then we deal with whatever their problems are. If it's uh, mental health issues, substance abuse, um, family problems, whatever it is. Um, he's a great advocate for our clients. He's just will often have good ideas that he brings up about working with clients or how to address issues with them. Um, and he just clearly has a lot of passion. Mr. Harrell has taught me to be positive at all times. I use him as a role model and a mentor also. And um, he's uh, influenced my life considerably on a daily basis. My nonprofit is called TCRC the Center for Attorney Citizens. We are primarily in the business of facilitating the transition of individuals from prison back into society. I think Jay's story can be an inspiration to anybody who's looking for a job. That commitment to success that Jay brought to work every single day is the reason why Jay became successful today. I view this as a small step in the greater picture. There's so much more that has to be done before I can say in my own heart that this is a success. Okay, uh, first of all, Mr. Harrell, I would like to congratulate you on winning the, your award. Uh, it's well deserved. Hey, John Day, congratulations on your award. Um, we're really proud of you, really excited for you, um, and just really grateful to have you as a team member here. Congratulations, Jay. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you on this achievement. Um, you are an inspiration to me personally and to our entire organization. I wish you nothing but the success in all of your future endeavors, and I can't wait to be to play any part in it that I possibly can. Good luck, Jay. Jay, I'm so very proud of you, and I just want to congratulate you on winning this award. I feel like you've worked very hard for it. You were very determined and all of that has paid off for you. And I'm very proud of you. And I'm glad to be able to be one of those people that have been part of that process with you. It's just a great feeling for, for me, 
being his father, to be able to sit back and watch him work that hard to accomplish the things that he wants to do. Dad, we just want to tell you congratulations, and we love you, and that you can do anything that you set your mind to. And we're proud that you got home and did everything you said you were going to do all the time you were away. And that uh, I'm glad you're in school again, that you graduated from the first college, and congratulations on your new job and everything that you set your mind to do. We love you.